still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. It's the dun, the dun, dun. I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. Feeling like a digit in a system, just another. What's going on, guys? J Hoyt back with you today. Today, we got some more NHL clips for you. This time, we're going to be going over some really dumb defense. So, let's start the play and see what happens. So, on this play, a little bit of a backstory. We're down 3-2 to two in Division 1. Third period, two minutes to go. I'm going to end up circling back because I don't really have support, you know, of my teammates because we're in the middle of a line change. However, let's start with the first stupid thing that happens on this play. So, off the bench, I think this is Paul Bissonnette. I'm not exactly sure, but number 12 here. Ends up poke checking like 30 feet to the right of me and ends up getting the puck. Now, yes, it does hit his skate, but if you guys know EA at all, it goes everything goes through skates and through and through sticks and through everything all the time. So that's what I was going for, especially since he wasn't being controlled. So the second part of this play is yes, I do pull my defenseman out of position to try to hit Connor McDavid. However, if you did notice something, the third thing is where is my right defenseman? So we're going to be going over that in a second. And then the fourth thing that I don't know if you caught, but it was a bit quick, was as my right defense was coming back on defense, I eventually switched to him and we poke checked it and it went in. Fifth thing being the goalie and the stupid animation. So just another little look right here at the end of the play. You know, it look where my right defenseman is and look where he should be because this is just dumb. Now, I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of what was happening, and this is just the, just the way I lose games. It has everything to do with coding and nothing to do with how well I'm playing or how bad I'm playing or how well or bad the other guy is playing. It's all on coding, and whoever gets the better animations and the best, the best bullshit basically wins, and... That shouldn't be a thing, right? It should be whoever outplays the other guy or whoever, you know, plays better that game should be the winner. It shouldn't just be, you know, the stick goes through someone's skate or the puck should have gone through his legs when it hit his skate or, you know, something stupid little like that. Like, you got to have something in the game to where it's all about who who's playing better, right? It shouldn't just be... You know, I have to work around the zone for a minute and then work it around for a goal when this guy can just skate down the ice and snipe it from the blue line. Like, it, it shouldn't be a thing. Because snipes from the blue line, although can happen and don't usually happen, it shouldn't be a thing all the time. So, let's start back at the beginning of the play here before I ramble on here. So, we curl back and end up hitting number 12 off the defense. And he puts it down to McDavid. So, yes, I switch out of my player, which is Vlasic, and try to hit him pulling him out of position i get that but there's two guys skating in my zone from before tatar is on i think that's jonathan taves over on the left hand side there however where is my right defenseman going now normally that right defenseman would be covering the more the middle of the ice while tatar takes taves and plays defense on him now the right defenseman being tyson barry now he's an 87 overall Proving yet again that 87s are terrible. So let's watch this from the beginning of the play. Back down in the corner where he wins a puck battle against. I think that's Taves again. So we're going to go into the corner. I'm going to try to hit him. Barely hits him. The puck goes out to my four. I think that's a forward. And eventually gets out to Vlasic. Which leads him into the play. And we're going to skate up the ice. So Barry plays this perfectly. Skates up the ice. You know, gets back in the zone. They're not going for the line change at the moment. But here we go. They just got the puck. So he is circling back. Right? So he plays this perfectly. Perfect. 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 Where is he going? Now, if he would have kept that perfect line, he'd be in between the circles playing some, you know, average defense against him. Especially when that's the computer. Now, why does he randomly turn to the, like, to the outside here? Like, Tatar is right there guarding Taves. It's not like that guy's un, you know, marked and not covered and not, you know, like, that, like that guy's kind of irrelevant right now. You got Connor McDavid in, like, in the middle of the ice and you're, like, going to the sideboards. Tell me how that one makes sense. 
So not only does he skate way to the right, but he comes back in on defense when I end up switching to him. And he ends up poke checking it. Now when he poke checks it, it goes extremely slow into the goal. But then also watch my goaltender of the stupid animation he makes. So let's watch it from this angle, right? So he passes it, I don't, I don't remember from who, but to Connor McDavid. Yes, I get pulled out of position here trying to hit him. I s try to switch players to Barry, which should be in the middle of the ice, but ends up switching to a forward that's at the blue line. And when that happens, you know, why am I not being switched on to Barry, first of all? But then why is Barry not in the middle of the ice to play some defense? He poke checks it. But then my look at my goalie in this situation also. He poke checks it. And he's in the butterfly at the same time. And then tries to turn and then flop backwards in order to try to save it. It just doesn't make sense. So look at it from this angle. So look at the goalie. Right? So you're going to watch Barry poke check it, right? So yes, he poke checks it towards the goal. I get that. But why is my goal check... Or go, yeah, goal check. Why is my goalie poke checking it? Or trying to poke check in this situation? Right? It's not like he's skating, you know, east to west here. He's skating north to south. To where, like, his stick is not even close to the puck. Right? So he shoots it and he gets poke checked. But then my goalie, like, flops backwards. Like, what? This is just stupid. This is just stupid AI right here. Is it AI? Is it coding? Whatever you want to call it. This is terrible. Right? My defenseman shouldn't be getting veered out to the right. And being completely out of the play. Then if someone poke checks it, it should be poke checked. It shouldn't be poke check and then slowly going to the goal. With some stupid animation by my goalie. Like, is this really how I'm losing games? Like, this is sad. Like, I'm going to come out with a video soon of explaining what's been going on with me. But, this is just bad. I don't know if you guys have anything like this. But, this is just terrible. Jumping off the porch like mom's